evening, everyone. Welcome to the Church on the Bayou for this Monday, Thursday service. We thank you so much for joining us this evening as we mark this very special night, the night before Jesus was crucified, coming into the final days of Holy Week. It is a night of remembrance of the ultimate sacrifice that God made for all human beings for all time. Tonight we will share music, we will hear some scripture, and we will share in the Lord's Supper. Let us prepare our hearts for worship on this beautiful and solemn night. Psalm 116 says, I love the Lord because he hears my voice. He hears my prayer for mercy because he bends down to listen. I pray as long as I have breath. What can I offer the Lord for all he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and praise the Lord's name for saving me. I will keep my promises to the Lord in the presence of all his people. The Lord cares deeply when his loved ones die. O oh Lord, I am your servant, yes, I am your servant, born into your household. You have freed me from my chains. I will offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. In the presence of all his people, in the house of the Lord, in the heart of Jerusalem, praise the Lord. And now Dan will share some more beautiful music with us. Thursday, why do we mark this night? Christ's mandate is commemorated on Monday, Thursday. Monday is the shortened form of the Latin word mandatum, which means command. It was on the Thursday of Christ's final week before being crucified on Good Friday and resurrected Easter morning that Jesus said a very special commandment to his disciples. Jesus and his disciples had just shared the Passover meal, what we now call the Last Supper. Jesus was washing the disciples' feet when he said in John 13, the time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory, and God will be glorified because of him. And since God receives glory because of the Son, he will give his own glory to the Son, and he will do so at once. Dear children, I will be with you only a little longer. And as I told the Jewish leaders, you will search for me, but you cannot come to where I'm going. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other, just as I have loved you. You should love one another. Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. 
Well, it raised the definition of love to a new and higher standard. Jesus sacrificially met his followers' deepest need, that of a new spiritual life and the forgiveness of sins. Jesus even loved his enemies, and he calls us to show love to everyone, especially those who do not appear to deserve it. I'm honored and delighted to have Dan and Nora Fedorik share O Sacred Head Now Wounded. shared the liturgy for sharing in the Lord's Supper. I hope you have a copy of that near you. If not, you will probably be able to follow along. Follow along. It's a fairly traditional liturgy. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Eternal God, holy and mighty, it is truly right and our greatest joy to give you thanks and praise and to worship you in every place where your glory abides. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with the heavenly choirs and with all the faithful of every time and place who forever sing to the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Let us now prepare our hearts 
for sharing the Lord's Supper with a moment of silent reflection and prayer. And turning our eyes towards the Lord, we now profess our common faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. On the night of his arrest, Jesus took bread, and after giving thanks to God, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, and he said, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, Jesus took the cup and again giving thanks to God, he gave the cup to his disciples and said, this is the new covenant sealed in my blood, shed for you and for all, so that there may be so that their sins may be forgiven. Do this in remembrance of me. If you would like to, we have a couple of folks here today that are going to share in the bread and the cup. The body of Christ. wonderful husband, the body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ given for you. time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the saving death and resurrection of our Lord until he comes again in glory. I hope that you were all able to participate in your own sharing of bread and cup in your homes. Lord, pour out your mercy upon us that these gifts may be the communion of the body and the blood of Christ. Grant us the grace of your presence, and we come before you saying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We end this service tonight with music. We thank you for joining us. We ask that you would remain in prayer this evening in gratitude for the tremendous gift of Good Friday and that you will join us for the celebration for Easter morning. Amen and God bless you. Mm -hmm.